Howdy folks, gonna do a clean water store demonstration of doing a teardown for a 5900 BT. This will be the same for a softener and for a filter. I happen to take a softener valve here. Uh, when we're gonna remove the seals and spacers, uh, start by taking the head off, the helmet off. You don't need to take the valve off of the tank as far as that goes. You should do the servicing while it's on. Uh, you can get away with doing all of this just with a screwdriver as far as it goes. That's a quarter inch and uh, the other ones are five sixteenths. Uh, so as far as that goes, the first two you can remove are the two little black quarter inch screws on the right and the left. And get those out of the way. There's going to be eight screws total. There's one right and left on there. Then we're going to take out the yoke screw and its washer. Don't lose the washer when you unscrew it. And I just dropped the washer. Then you've got the two screws that are holding the whole control head on and these are longer than the three screws that we're going to take out next. These are flat head on the top and the other three are Phillips head on the top so that helps you tell them apart. But make sure you don't put one of the longer screws into the shorter screw holes when you put it back. When you pull the control head away, you can see where the, the white gear post is poking through where the piston is right now. When you put it back, you'll have to manually adjust the piston with your fingers to get it to line up with that spot. Okay, then you sort of wiggle it. The back plate will come free. The front portion of the valve will fall away. You just leave it connected to the cable. Obviously, if it's on top of the tank, folks, the cable here goes through. It can be easily disconnected so that you don't have to have this dangling from the cable as far as that goes. Now you're going to be left with the last three, and I've already loosened up one of them, but now i got to start from scratch with the other two. When you're tightening these back down, do it like a tire. Go crisscross among the three, and you don't need to over-tighten. Sometimes that happens. This piston and seals and spacers, of course, are going to be nice and brand new and clean. Yours are going to be as ugly as they are when you do the work. <laughs> you uh, gently lift up on the piston plate and just sort of scoot the whole thing up. A lot of people are doing this because it's jammed, and so that won't all be easy like it was. You will have to sit there and fuss with it, pour some water on it, all of that, but you'll eventually be able to get it out. There's your seal, your spacer, your seal, your spacer. I've got most of them came out on the brand new piston, and there's what a brand new piston looks like. There's what a piston that's been through some stuff looks like as far as that goes. So... You get the last of the seals and spacers out. The very last spacer is different from the other spacers and it has two little pokey feet and you have to put the feet back in the correct spot and it's pretty easy to figure it out when you're looking down into the barrel. When you get down into this barrel you want to get something and clean it all out in there. I recommend using a lot of paper towels and rubbing alcohol, especially if this is an iron filter valve, that'll help dissolve the iron up and get everything cleaned up without being too aggressive, and it's also something everybody has. Be very careful when you put this back. Make sure it's oriented properly is the main thing, and then you'll put new seals and spacers back in one at a time, and then you will drop the piston back in and put the three bolts back on and connect it back up that way, and then again, as I said, when you put it back on you need to line this up with this which when you first when you first put it back in randomly it'll be wherever it is and then you'll have to pull it up and it's normal when you're pulling it up for there to be a little bit of resistance as far as that goes that's how you do it folks thanks